Tech Cocktail Conversations, candid insights from startup founders, entrepreneurs, and thought leaders from around the globe. My name is Andrew Nason. I'm one of the lead developers at WordPress. So on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, I'm running the WordPress project right now, uh, primarily doing back-end development, uh, quite a bit of front-end. Uh, a lot of administrative stuff to kind of run everything. We have somewhere around 200 something contributors uh, every few months is, what, is about what the number we're looking at, scattered all throughout the world. So on a daily basis, I'm working with developers who are uh, as far away as Russia or Australia, um, Romania and Germany, uh, and as well as people all over the United States, um, working on whatever the new features are gonna be for, for WordPress. It's a really fun challenge to, to try and cultivate and keep up with such a large community. Uh, we've really tried to grow year over year uh, as much as possible, uh, trying to, 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 to improve um, a lot of our mentoring programs for working with new developers. Uh, so, I mean, when you're dealing with, with an open source project like this, in many cases these are going to be kids in their, in their early 20s, uh, if, not, if not younger than that. Uh, to the point where some of the, the top developers in the project right now are all aged from about 21 to 25. Uh, so you, what you end up seeing is a lot of people who just really want to contribute to open source and, our, and our, one of our biggest goals is let's see how we can get them hooked. Uh, WordPress now powers about 17% of all websites, which is pretty incredible. I mean, one in six, it's a really incredible number. That doesn't mean that we can't do so many more things. Uh, I think one of our, our next focuses, what I really want it to be, and what a few of us want it to be, is, is focusing on really making editing just shine, almost like a back-to-blocking type thing. But in many cases, like there are a lot of things that we can do to really innovate on, on, on what we're doing with working with your content. So, I mean, we're, we're talking about, you know, HTML5 and the future of the web, you know, this idea of, let's say, local storage for your drafts or uh, never being able to lose your, your post again or how can we actually speed up the entire dashboard with application cache or things like that. Um, we're really never afraid to continue to innovate. Uh, and and the way, a lot of the ways we're doing that is we're supplying progressive enhancement on pretty much everything that we're working on. So uh, the new media library work that we're doing, it really sings in, in the modern browser. It's a really cool experience. It's great to use. It's great to use on a tablet. Uh, and so, I mean, we're, n we're definitely not afraid of innovation. We never want to really keep be caught flat-footed. It's one of the reasons why we're updating so quickly. Uh, if you think about, like, what version of Facebook you run, you don't really think about that at all. I mean, you're on version, like, 17 of their news feed at this point. Uh, if you think about what version of Chrome you're on, I mean, you are running 23, but you probably didn't know that because it's just updating the back, and, and, you know, behind you. And now you're looking at WordPress, and, you know, you're on WordPress 3.4 right now. Uh, 3.5, 3.6, and how, as we keep going, eventually you're just going to get to the point where you're just running WordPress. And that's really how fast we can innovate. Rather than just shipping new features every three to four months, we can just ship them right to your door, really, at, you know, as we're working on them, which is, I think, the, 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 the final goal there.